on the last episode of Split Screen. Our two hosts got a little bit in over their heads, taking on the women of SDO in a trivia challenge. But with the Taekwondo club showing them the ropes, will they even survive? But the real question is, can we get the over 9,000 jokes over 9,000? Find out today on Split Screen. I'm your host, Ryan Lewis. And I'm your other host, the Prince of All Saiyans, Vegeta! I mean, Michael Harone. This week, we spent some time with the Taekwondo Club, and we did really well. We got annihilated. We did really well for our first time. To keep our egos down, to keep us honest, we have two members of the Taekwondo Club, Andrea Ionis and Nathan Ung. How are you guys doing tonight? I'm doing fine. I'm doing great. Fine? Oh, you're doing great? Nice. Doing great. Keep Ready that to, energy up. to kick it Dragon Ball Z style? Obviously. Yes. Excellent, excellent. So you guys work out a lot and really hard. We do not. Clearly. So last week we went to a practice to get an idea what Taekwondo actually feels like. It hurt. And here's our experience with being with the club. I haven't used since over 9,000. Turns out working out is hard. I'm crying. Oh my god. This is gonna make me use dicks I don't know how these people do it. Like, I don't wanna feel like this again. Woo! So I'm just gonna keep doing it until I don't feel like, it, feel like this. I pledge to not keep doing it. I pledge to come to this place at least once a week now. You want to be in Taekwondo? I don't know. I mean, it's fun. I don't think I could do it every day. For being completely honest, a lot of work. Do you have more respect for the people in Dragon Ball Z now? I need a. Oh, oh, yes! Ah, damn. Which way is front legs? Oh. 
My side still hurt, man. What about you? Uh, it hurts my Saiyan pride to admit this, but yes, I still feel that. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, let's uh, get to know you guys a little better before we duke it out on the on the on the game. So, uh, can you tell me how long you've been doing Taekwondo? Uh, I've been doing Taekwondo for around 15 years now. 15. Wow. Mm -hmm. And how old are you? Uh, 20. Wow, that is an extensive period of time. So you're uh, you're really good. <laughs> uh, I guess you could say that. <laughs> I mean, I've been taught to be humble about it, so I don't talk, say anything. Unless, it's show, unless it's show and tell, obviously. <laughs> so, um, you said you've been doing it for 15 years, and I see you have a black belt. Can you explain the significance of that for Taekwondo? Okay, uh, so like black belt is the highest rank for, for every belt. Mm -hmm. So, you go from white, and then yellow, green, blue, red, brown, and then black. And then from there, you then get like a ranking on that. So like you start off with like a first degree, which is like one gold bar. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you, keep, you can keep going on. To the, all the way to ninth. Oh yeah. But like you gain titles after like each rank. So like if you gain, you get to a fourth degree, you gain the title of master. Right? So you're a master. Yeah. Along with my dad. So it's That's like something. Really cool. It's something like me and my dad <laughs> love to do after a while. Very cool. Very cool. So it's like uh, really like family driven for you. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And Andrea, how, uh, what about you? Uh, I've been doing Taekwondo for ten years. Ten years. Nice. Cool. And you, how old are you? Nineteen. Nineteen. So you guys have been doing this for a significant portion of your life. Yeah, yeah. basically. Very nice. Do you guys uh, do you travel for like competitions or? Um, well, it depends um, exactly. So there could be like regional competitions. So mm -hmm. that would be like mostly around the area. Um, but then if you have like state competitions, it could be somewhere else in the state. If it's nationals, it'll be placed in one other place in, in the country. Okay. Um, but like OSU Taekwondo Club, um, we do do competitions. We actually had one down in Portland in November. Very cool. We have another one in February up in Washington. Nice. So yeah. like what's, what's the furthest you guys have traveled for, for a competition? Uh, I've only traveled like all down to California and that was like for US nationals. So national, so like wow. everybody from the country was there. Yeah. How old did you do? Is like, is that a rude question to ask? Uh, I got up to seventh place. Wow. In, wow. in the nation? Yeah. That. <laughs> and this is the man who beat me up, folks. <laughs> now we can see why. <laughs> yes. What about you, Andre? Uh, I just went up to Washington for state. Very, very cool. Very cool. So on a regular, you guys um, do different nights um, of the week. You guys do different things in club. Um, so what? is your favorite um, activity to do um, when you guys meet up? Um, it would probably be sparring would be my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just okay. because we can also do like different drills for sparring too. So we'll do kicking drills in order to get ready for it. Um, we might do a bit of cardio and afterwards actual sparring. Cool. That's where you can like learn to practice and perfect your technique. So when you and Nathan spar, who typically wins? 
I mean, speaking from pride, I would say I'd win. Speaking from pride, he would say he'd win. Like true Saiyans. <laughs> so we can't trust either of you. Speaking of Saiyans, I feel like I have to explain my costume a little bit. Um, I do a lot of cosplay, so I'm dressed up as Vegeta for the occasion. Might have caused a little bit of confusion, but I'm just, I'm so amped for Dragon Ball Z. It was like one of like my formative uh, shows that I watched. And that, that kind of brings me to the next question. Like, how has like anime or martial arts movies like influenced you? Like, has this, has it been like a driving force for you to be a martial artist or what is that? How is that your truth in that? Uh, I think like, Oh, first of all, like when I joined martial arts, mm -hmm. basically my dad dragged me into it because <laughs> he wanted me to exercise. Oh my goodness. And then like after that, at the same time I was watching like all kinds of shows like Jackie Chan movies and then like Dragon Ball mm -hmm. and then so, a different kinds of like martial arts anime and stuff like that. And that kind of like kept me wanting to do it because I kind of wanted to be like those characters. Mm -hmm. And then there was also like even like Power Rangers because like yeah. I started noticing like Ooh, all yeah. the stunts they were doing and like some of them were similar to Taekwondo. So it kept me kind of wanting to do the, all that. Okay. So Andrea, what, what got you into Taekwondo and, and as far as like media and anime and that kind of stuff? Um, well, I actually was not allowed to watch a lot of um, oh, okay. cartoons and stuff when I was younger. But whenever I'd be like flipping through the channels or something, I'd be like, oh, this is a show I, I'm not allowed to watch. Well, let me like look into it a little bit. <laughs> nice. So okay. If I'd see like Dragon Ball Z or like Pokemon or if I'd see, see like any one of those, I tried to watch as much as I could cool. in order to like get into it. But I was a big fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah. That, so oh, yeah. I thought that that was really cool. I was like addicted with those turtles. Same, but, same though. <laughs> yeah, but like Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee, like you know the, all the big people. Those were who I grew up with watching. Oh yeah, like the the martial art classics. Yeah. Well, before we get into some retribution, to be perfectly honest, uh, <laughs> we're gonna have a quick break. So stick around. All right, so I got this great idea for a show, right? It's gonna be great, it's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be fun, okay? So we got this, we got this guy, right? And he's gonna be like this really big guy, and he's gonna have this, this like white coat, and it's gonna be like, it's all flowy, he's gonna be like, 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 a, like a Jesus guy, but he's not gonna be Jesus, but he's gonna have powers, but maybe he won't have powers, but like I feel like he might have something, and like it's gonna be super cool, it's gonna be super awesome, it's gonna be super fun. Okay, um. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then and then we're gonna have this like we're gonna have this box and it's gonna be like a magic box, right? And so like if you get inside it, it's gonna be like a whole different world. It's like it's gonna be like you, you look at the box and it's gonna be like not that big. But then when you get inside the box, it's gonna be so big, it's gonna be so big, it's gonna be so large, it's gonna be like expansive, it's gonna be magic, it's gonna change you. But like maybe it won't change you. Like I haven't figured that out yet, but I feel like what it's gonna be is it's gonna be something big. Okay, hold on. Uh, go back to this this Jesus guy. Yeah, okay, but like that guy. But I got this other idea, right? And it's gonna be this, it's gonna be great at this side. So we're gonna have this even bigger guy, just roar, this real big guy, right? It's gonna have this really long beard. And it's gonna be like this singer guy. And he's gonna be singing a song, and it's gonna be just this great song. He's gonna be like singing this opera. He's gonna, Doo -doo 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 -doo. And then he's gonna be singing the song. And then we're gonna have like we're gonna have that Jesus guy from before, like because you you talked about the Jesus guy. I know you like the Jesus guy. We're gonna have the Jesus guy from before. We're gonna have him run out on the stage. We're gonna have him like fight everybody. Oh. Okay. It's gonna be awesome. What are you, what is this gonna be called? We're gonna call it Taste Tickler. Welcome back to Split Screen. This week we're gonna be squaring off using Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Prepare yourself, Nathan. Your reckoning is at hand. <laughs> Dragon Ball Fighter Z is an arcade fighter by Bandai Namco that is based, obviously, on Dragon Ball franchise. It released on all major platforms on January 26th, and in it you can pick several heroes to battle your friends or the computer in epic matches. Let's so do uh, we've been playing a little bit. We're gonna get in it. If you'd be so kind as a hand controller to Nathan, I have a grudge that needs to be settled. Ah, yes. The old-fashioned Saiyan way. Well, before you guys start, um, just like to let the record show, 
if we play really well in this game, it doesn't necessarily mean that we're like as good playing like in <laughs> real life. That's <laughs> just in case Nathan beats you. Just just let me have my moment. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> You're on it, man. Get it. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, have you guys played any of the previous Dragon Ball games oh. or like fighter games in general? I've played like Dragon Ball, like Budokai Tenkaichi, like a lot when I was younger. Oh, like and the then, old school, like PS2 oh, yeah. ones? Yeah, and then like a lot of Tekken and like uh, Blaze Blue and like Soul Calibur. Oh, yeah, I really Soul like Calibur, the Soul Calibur series. Classic. The weapon fighters are great. What about you, Andrea? I played Tekken, Soul Calibur, and a few other games, yeah. Very nice. Lots of wrestling ones. <laughs> Lots of wrestling. Oh, yeah. I like on a lot of those wrestling ones, you can, there's like a very robust character creation, so you can make like the most <laughs> warped Weird person. Guy. Yeah. Lord, yeah. Beerus. Lord Beerus, I am Freezy Pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, I'm so ready. Oh no. Ugh. Not off to a good start so far. Oh no. I will end you. <laughs> So I actually really like the, the UI in this game. They changed it a lot from the previous Dragon Ball Z titles where they were like a, a 3D arena fighter. And this went back to like the, the arcade style fighting, which is, I think it just, it just, it just really works with the Dragon Ball series. Now who are you right now? I'm, I'm Frieza. Okay, the, you're playing Frieza and oh my gosh. Nathan's Vegeta. <laughs> Nathan's Vegeta, <laughs> to get me out of the corner. <laughs> Oh, so I don't know too much about Dragon Ball. So do you want to maybe yes. g give a rundown of what's what the show is about? So the, the basis of Dragon Ball is that there's these uh, these race of people called the Saiyans, uh, okay. Vegeta and Go the main character Goku are part of it, and uh, they're basically like ultra fighting aliens, and they have to protect the universe from other evil aliens like Frieza, and then it gets into its own like mythology. Like this cat guy is like. Uh, He's called the God of Destruction, so if you uh, make him angry, then he can destroy your galaxy or whatnot. Oh, nice. It's, it's got quite a convoluted plot, but it's, uh, for fans, it's just something else. I've seen memes where it's like, the, 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 they're charging up their <laughs> Saiyan energy for like episodes at a time. Is that true, or is that kind of just a joke? It's, no, there's a few episodes where it's just an absolute fact. That's yeah. just what happens for like four the to five episodes. Yeah. Yeah. I remember it was like, supposed to be like, like the reason for it is because they were running into like uh, budget issues. Really? Because oh, wow. like, okay. what was it? Uh, like the manga and like the show were running basically oh. at the same time. And yeah. in order to like keep up with each other, they had to like extend episodes out. Uh, that makes sense. Oh no. So what are the Dragon Balls? Like, what do they do? The Dragon Balls, if you collect all seven of them, you can summon the dragon for uh, a wish. One perfect wish. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> uh, I've lost a tree, though. What would you guys wish for if you had the Dragon Ball wish? Uh, obviously, Vegeta's thing. wish. Immortality. Immortality? Ah. <laughs> what about you, Andre? I have no idea. What kinds of wishes can you wish for? Any wish. Oh, no. Grant any wish. Damn it. Yeah, I would probably boy. wish to be a god. You wish to be a yes. god? Well, you can in this game. Well, I could, yeah. All right, I'll pass the, I'll pass the control on to you, Andre. Okay. I think I wish uh, All right. for no homework. No homework. That no. sounds yeah. fantastic. Or just to, just to get the my degree, like, right now, <laughs> and so then I just have to, I can just stop, like, uh, My wish would be... This? that every time I go to pay for something, I would pull out the exact amount of change no matter what's in my pocket. Well, that would be great. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good wish. So, Andrew, I go to character selection. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no <laughs> I didn't realize I was the one You're controlling You're in charge, it. <laughs> Okay. You're the god now. <laughs> yes, my wish has already come true. <laughs> All right. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to go with my original three. The original three? Yes. So, I kind of like that we've done this, the rematches here. I feel a little bit better that I was able to beat Nathan, but the true, the true, the, the true, true is that he would destroy me in real life. So. <laughs> I mean, when we were sparring together, like we weren't allowed to do head kicks, and like, I, I, I really like, I really like doing head kicks. Doing head kicks. Anything? He just dropped me like a sack of potatoes. Uh, I never knocked out anyone. I really? Broke, no. I've broken fingers accidentally. Wow. Like my dad's finger at our oh, no. black belt test. 
<laughs> Nathan's not the most intimidating type, so I could see how he hasn't knocked anyone out yet. Are you, dude? Seriously, like when he was doing the the key eye, like it literally scared me. I, I like, yeah. I'm like, oh my god, I'm I'm sorry. I just want to do. Is that a big part of strategy in com in matches using you know the kia and stuff like that, uh, or is that just kind of? It's like it's like one part making you breathe. Yeah. Because sometimes people Quick, forget attack to breathe. Not paying attention. And then it's also one part intimidation because like if, if, the, if the opponent like hears you key offing really loud, like even if you miss, they'll like start panicking. Oh shit. Yeah, like I had a miniature panic attack. I was like, wow, this is this is something else. Like I've never actually fought anybody, so it was uh, it was an unreal experience. Oh, I see which one I am now. <laughs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> I was trying I to find out. Second, <laughs> you are the same cat man. Oh man, your, your silver controller dude I think is a little bit screwed up. Oh, I no. think so too, I'm doing a lot better than I was before. <laughs> oh crap, so, never mind. Um, Ryan, you're the colored cat, I right? am. I am. I'm gonna, I'll the one change that just got, now. I'll the change one that just now lost? so we have a okay. better... Oh, I'm just... Yeah, I so died. So now you're Vegeta, anyway, okay. So, yeah. Oh! So, like, one of the, the cool things about um, this game is that they went to the, the Marvel vs. Capcom sort of fighter style, where you pick three characters that you can change in between while fighting, and you can call on them for, like, assists and various different things. It's actually really cool. I, I think they did a really good job with this game. Yeah, they, the, the engine's really nice. They did it in Unreal Engine, yeah. actually. Speaking of Unreal. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up with those puns. Oh, man. We need, we need a pun right. counter. Yeah, we need like a little right. pun right. running so do pun. Wanna, I, got a, I got a pun for you. Oh, no. Yeah, we so, need to make um, over 9,000. How 000? many Super Saiyans does it take to screw in a light bulb? Ooh. How many? It only takes one, but it'll take him five episodes to do it. <laughs> oh, <that's>... oh. <laughs> and there oh. it is, folks. Oh. <laughs> and what, what was that cell one you made? I'm ruining it now, but oh, um, uh, what is what is cell's uh, power source? Mitochondria. Because it's the powerhouse of the yeah. cell, baby. <laughs> if, middle, if middle school taught me anything, he beat you. I know. You're it was my person. first. <laughs> okay, so um, my first person. How often do you guys meet for the Taekwondo Club? Do you uh, you have like a weekly schedule, right? Uh, yeah, we meet uh, Mondays and Wednesdays from 8 to 10, and then Thursdays from 9 to 11, so that's when we get sparring mats. That oh, way, cool. it's a lot safer to spar in case anybody falls over. And then on Saturday, and then we also have a Saturday class, where it's oh, generally, really? generally oh, yeah. a free class. A free, oh, so you guys meet it like up to four times a week? Yeah. Wow, that is a lot. Do you guys like do different things for different practices? Uh, on Mondays, we generally do like conditioning and like trying to see how far we can go before we want to throw up. <laughs> oh man! And then like on Wednesdays, I felt that yeah. <laughs> and on Wednesdays, we do like a lot of kicking, a lot of technique stuff. So okay. that way, we like work on like our just yeah, just overall technique on anything. And okay. then Thursday is our sparring day. Oh man! And then <laughs> Friday is our. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, not Friday. Saturday is a free day. Okay, okay, okay. Where we just either do like you know stretching or like kicking, anything you want, basically. It's just like it's just like whatever you want to do on that day. Okay, that's very cool. So like uh, the so taekwondo close. is open to anybody, right? Mm -hmm. Just as long as you sign a waiver that you don't get if you get beat up, it's not your fault. <laughs> yeah, like we, <laughs> helps yeah, like, save us a lot. Oh no, that's fair. Yeah, like we've God. had plenty. Of, we have some members who have Correct. started at OSU Taekwondo Club. Really? And then like they've been going up. All the way to black belt from, wow. from here, and then other members. Obviously, we have people who have done it before, and it's like having this kind of like mix of like veterans and uh, uh, new people kind of like helps uh, helps te helps the new people learn, and then helps the old people kind of be able to learn how to teach. Okay, so like, do you have like a, a sensei that you have to, or is there like a board that you have to go through to get your belt, or like do you have to do certain like requirements to rank up? Uh, well, we. We have, a t so we do actually a belt testing at our club. Oh, really? Okay. Um, so we'll have the black belts usually will be the ones that will be um, judging. You guys wanna... Oh, yeah. Did Those you... are good. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we'll usually have the black belts that will be um, judging, and we have a sheet of paper where we have all the different techniques and stuff that we'll be judging. So it'll be like kicks, punches, stances. Gotcha. Um, Basically, their forms will be judging them based on um, how well they can memorize everything that they have to do. We even have terminology in Korean. Very cool. Yeah. So, uh, what are forms? So, forms are basically just a combination of techniques put together. So, punches and um, 
strikes, kicks okay. that are put into an artistic form. It's mostly for the visual aspect of it, but you're supposed to be thinking that you're fighting someone with each technique that you do. Very cool. Yeah. So it's it's a bit of a, an immersive process to uh, to rank up. Yeah. yeah. You have to memorize a lot of different complex movements. Oh yeah, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> a lot. But I mean, like eventually it becomes like muscle memory. And okay. Kind of just like stop thinking. Well, that's you do it. yeah. Yeah. So we broke boards on uh, when we were with you guys. What does that look like in competitions? And also, I have another question, which is, how often do people do it wrong and, and uh, hurt their hands? Um, occasionally, yeah, people do like, hurt uh, their are hands, cats but like, we, we try to like, <laughs> oh, make no. sure, if they're like beginners, then we obviously uh, show them techniques that are less likely to injure them, mm -hmm. and then we'll move them up from there. Yeah, Nathan is and is board breaking a through. thing that happens in competitions, or is that more just a practice thing? Um, well, going back to the the board breaking thing, yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm. you can actually hurt yourself. Yeah. I have a friend who actually he was doing a, um, a jump front kick board break, which is mm -hmm. basically you go to see how high you can kick, and he landed wrong. Oh no! And so his bone actually fractured in his leg, and he got third place because he didn't land his kick oh, correctly. Oh man! Or otherwise he would have gotten first. Talk about a silver lining, though. Yeah. yeah. So to you have to really know how to do your techniques correctly. You have to know yeah. how to mm -hmm. land all your weight correctly on the leg that you're landing with, so on and so forth. Oh, no. So it takes an incredible amount of concentration and discipline. Yes, it does. <laughs> oh, god damn. Darn it, I was no. so... <laughs> it looked like I was doing well. <laughs> <laughs> you like look away for a second, you're like, yeah. yeah, I'm great. Where am I? Oh, I'm dead. Oh man, I suck with this one. I, I feel like the pacing is is really nice in this. It's a bit fast, but it's it's still like followable. Yeah, definitely. It is. I just like can't sing this game's praises enough. I was so excited for this to come out. I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball, and I was glad that, that it got the, the arcade fighter treatment. How was the beta? You played the beta, right? I did play the beta. It was um there wasn't a whole lot to do. Like yeah. you just had like six fighters and you could kinda just do uh 1v1 on it, nothing very immersive, but um, in the base game it's actually really cool, like there's a big old uh, lobby you can go in, you can pick your little custom avatar. Mm -hmm. Oh man! <laughs> oh man! It's going down! It's the last, the last melon. It's the final countdown. Oh no! Oh no, oh, that's a different one. Nathan, it's okay, we can fight this out later. You can fight it out! Oh uh, no! Nathan! Oh! Oh, oh, Nathan. oh, oh gosh! Yeah, <laughs> Nathan's, Nathan's in a heavy lead, though. You yeah, got a lot to is. come back Nathan on Nathan is winning, definitely. I believe in you, though. Look, Colin just throws a rock. <laughs> yeah. What is, like, is my no. superpower? No. Oh, my. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. oh, man, that was insane. You're really tough, this guy. I like how they do like the the damage to it too for yeah. like how much life mm -hmm. you've lost in the thing. And I think remember if like if you like bounce off shots, you can see them hit the background <laughs> yeah. and like start damaging everything. Yeah, you can see it like exploding somewhere else. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. Well, unfortunately, we don't have any time for 9,000 jokes anymore. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, we will have to say goodbye for tonight. Thanks so much for letting it into our club, and thanks so much for letting us into your home. And remember, folks, it's, it's always, always better, better to, to game together. together.